Hello. One of the common causes of peripheral neuropathy is toxic substances, especially toxic medications. And there are really a there's a huge list of medications that cause peripheral neuropathy or that can cause peripheral neuropathy. And there are three that will surprise you that I want to go into. Before can cause peripheral neuropathy does not mean that it is causing it. And number two, you shouldn't go off of any medications without discussing them with your doctor first. So even if I bring up a medication, you're going, wait, I'm on that medication. Make sure you go off them correctly by working with your doctor. So what are the three medications that may surprise you? Number one, that one of the most common causes of peripheral neuropathy is diabetes. But you may be surprised that one of the most commonly used medications, metformin, can cause peripheral neuropathy. It can actually interfere with the functioning of the nerves by interfering the thiamine that is in the body. So thiamine, vitamin B1, needs to be there. So secondary to the thiamine deficiency caused by metformin. So metformin is a medication that is commonly used in individuals that have diabetes and maybe even have peripheral neuropathy and it can make the peripheral neuropathy worse. Number two and number three are very similar medications because they're used for treating peripheral neuropathy. Number one, one of these is gabapentin. Its other name is Neurontin. With gabapentin or Neurontin, it can cause a peripheral neuropathy in the way that it interfe interferes with the functioning of the nerve. Lyrica or pregabalin similarly can cause a peripheral neuropathy in the way it interacts with the nerve. So pregabalin and neuropathy worse cause peripheral neuropathy in some instances. So free surprising medications can be toxic should be evaluated. If you're on one of these three medications or any of these three medications, it is recommended that you look at them and say, okay, is there a possibility that this is part of the problem? I have patients that have gone off correctly, have done it the right way, but have been able to go off gabapentin and had their peripheral neuropathy improve. I've had patients go off metformin and have their peripheral neuropathy improve. They're still treating their diabetes, still managing their diabetes through another medication, but because of the toxic side effects or possible toxic side effects of these medications, you can get peripheral neuropathy from these. So something to think about as you're looking at your medications, it is really important that you evaluate each and every medication and say, can this be playing into my peripheral neuropathy? Because if you can eliminate that cause, then your peripheral neuropathy can improve and you're not continuing to damage the nerve while you're trying to treat it. This is Dr. Brent Gibson, this is Neuropathy Nugget Day 307. If you'd like additional information on some of the things you can do to treat and manage your peripheral neuropathy, we have a free webinar this week. Uh, if you just go to the neuropathywebinar.com, you can actually sign up and join us for the next masterclass, next webinar, where we talk about ways that you can manage or treat your peripheral neuropathy. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.